So, you play the ukulele. You know, I always thought you'd play the bagpipes. <laughs> you! Ten seconds! Rephrase! Well, it's just, you're usually so proud of your heritage. I thought you'd go all the way. You know, I I'm a musician too. I play the trombone. I just wanted to make some conversation. Please don't kill me. I'll let you off this time, but only because my nationality seems to be a running gag around here, and you're actually genuinely funny. <laughs> really? Thanks. Not like, you know, laugh out loud, haha, -ha, kind of funny, but. <laughs> Hello! Is this thing on? Dude, I saw some victory! Is that seriously what's going on? No. No, I'm pretty sure it is. No, 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 Oh, am I like the best announcer ever? Well, that's a dumb question. Of course I am, cause I'm married. Sue! Hi, Maddie. Can I help you two? Um. Okay, Doc. With the greatest possible respect here. Why did you think hiring her to be the announcer was a good idea? Her first rule change forces the red team to wear pink. Pink! Have you met me? I do not do pink. And I'm pretty sure no one else on my team would wear pink either. That glorified pigeon might. <laughs> oh, come on, Maddie. Don't be so, um, mad. You know I'm the best for the job. I'm the best at any job. I definitely make a better medic than Firewall over there. Hey, watch it, Candyland. Firebrand, I'll deal with this. Please go help Silverquill. What? Why does Silver need ha <sighs> You're right, dumb question. Now, the answer to your question is simple, Miss Munchkin. It's getting a little tedious constantly recalibrating the announcer macro every hour because of everyone's destructive antics, so I hired someone. You hired Mary Sue! With Mary Sue's uncanny abilities of being able to carry out any task perfectly, it would be inappropriate to assign her to a team. But having her as the announcer means we will never have to recalibrate the announcer macro. Also, Maybe this will teach you and the rest of the team members to be a little more responsible so I wouldn't have to resort to hiring Mary Sue in the first place. Yeah, that to have hired... <coughs> Wait, I was the last resort? <coughs> uh, well, being last makes you the most important. Oh, okay. You're really lucky I respect you, Doc. But just so you know, I am really, really mad about this. <laughs> it's funny because her name is Maddie. Meanwhile. Don't question it. Don't question it. Brand, what are you doing? Brand? Buddy? Chum? <coughs> Ow! This is the 15th time this week you've gotten yourself into an implausible death trap! Do I gotta follow you around and hug your butt all day? Ooh, Firebrand. I know my flank is nice, but you haven't even asked me to dinner yet. I should have left you tied up. Didn't know you were into that. <coughs> 
You know what? That reminds me. Doc said he was looking for you. It is my decision, Miss Munchkin. We've been needing a new announcer, and Mary Sue has proven to be more reliable for the role. So, like it or not, Miss Munchkin, she is staying. Can we paint the walls in here pink? Miss Munchkin? Ooh, I've seen her do this before. She gets so angry that she like stops moving altogether. Like the animator went for like a cookie break or something. This looks serious. Should we do something? Nah, only if it ever happened to me. And it never will. Cause I'm Mary Sue. If I don't kill something right now, this entire office is going to be remodeled to my first day on the job. Hey, Firebrand said you needed me for- oh, Hey, look! Continuity! Aww. Hoisted by my own running gag. Um, do I want to know what's going on in there? Nope. Doc, we need to talk. Oh? What seems to be on your mind, Mr. Voice? Non-alcoholic drink dependency, Zootopia references, hat searches, hellspawn transformations, twerking? <laughs> booty, 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 rocking everywhere. What happened to the traditional TF2 mercenary stuff? Well, we're still organizing our teams together. We had a few rough spots, what with Dusty Cat and the robot attacks. We're just trying to re-establish ourselves, and these shenanigans, I suppose, help to bring us closer together? Look, I'm all for shenanigans every once in a while. Heck, I enjoy the finer things in life, like spraying the blue team all at once with the Sydney Sleeper. Speaking of which... Nighty night! <laughs> but we really need to get back on track with this business concerning Dusty's attack. Did KP and Ink's scouting mission get any leads? Hmm... Well, now that you mention it, nothing particularly useful other than he is patrolling the grounds outside the compound. Hmm... Then this calls for drastic action. It's time to get serious. Uh, could you back up a little? You're in my personal space. Thank you. Okay, I called you all here because I feel it's high time we get our analyst anarchists butts in gear. Been meaning to talk about that. I'd prefer more of a democratic system. You're a mercenary for hire. Get over it. <laughs> now the mission I've laid out for you is a dangerous one. It will test your courage, endurance, skills, and your limits. To compound the peril will be outside the reach of the respawn generator. Ew, goody. I always wanted to fast track writing my will. Here's what I gathered. Thanks to Doc and Finn, we were able to isolate the material used to make the robots Dusty just happened to use against us. Turns out there's only one place in the world that manufactures Australium. New Zealand? Fiji? My old school? Australia! Oh! See, that makes much more sense when he says it. I'm surrounded by idiots. Yeah. And today, they're your idiots. If we can focus... There's a facility not too far from Dusty's patrolling grounds. It's home to the only Australian forging plant in the world. Oh, so we are in Australia. If we can infiltrate the facility, we may get some information on who supplied Dusty with the robot army. Here's the plan. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> oh, real mature, guys. As if they actually look like that. <laughs> yeah, you're right. We should have made your butt bigger! <laughs> <laughs> I could be in California right now. But no, I'm babysitting 25-year-old children. <laughs> Now 
Now, back to the plan. We will have several squads to make sure this mission goes without a hitch. A squad is our intel team. Your task is to retrieve any information swiftly and silently and not raise any attention to yourselves. B squad is the extraction team. Your task is to provide safe extraction to the safe point far outside the facility for the A squad. C squad will be me and Golden Fox. We are your eyes from afar. If we see something unusual, we'll say something. D squad is our heavy distraction. If anything gets ugly on any end, you go in guns blazing so A Squad can get to the extraction point. By the end, we'll know who the supplier is and how we can beat them. So, any questions? Improvise! Let's play it by ear! Oh, one and a half of them! Come back here, Silver! I'm gonna get ya! I'm gonna get ya! I'm gonna get ya! Am I the only one who takes this job seriously? Job implies we pay you. Many hours later. Okay, you all had your fun earlier. Now it's time to actually take something seriously. Fox and I will be on the hill watching her every move. Finn, you have the teleports ready? Walls at the facility and at the safe point. Fully upgraded and ready to go. Sweet. All teleports are ready to go. Dispensers and mini sentries are on standby. Stallions, mares, I have the utmost confidence this will be a successful mission. Well, maybe not successful, but definitely come out with a win. I mean, not a particularly big win, but we'll come away by the skin of our teeth. Then again, with the practice I've seen, I guarantee you'll come out alive. Well, maybe not everyone. Get on with it! This! Right. Folks. We may not all get along. Some of us have many more subscribers than others. But dang it, we're analyst mercenaries, and that should count for something. Now get in there and get that info! Yeah! yeah! Uh, 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 what's going on? Why are we still here? Why are we not doing the too much of zip zaps yeah. and the pink poodles and the teleport and the whoop whoop whoop? It's because I'm tall, isn't it? Finn. By chance, did you put the entrances by the facility and the exits here? <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> I'll be back in a jiffy. Well, we're off to a great start. Why am I stuck babysitting you three? Hey, it's not our fault that the spies and scouts have the lowest HP. And besides, we need the protection from any spy bots in the area. Ladies, focus! Ha, <laughs> he called you out. It goes for you too, drama queen. Hey! Look, I need you four to stay alert. I have the B-Squad looking for an easier access point for the extraction, because someone didn't want to use the drain pipes. B-Squad, do you have a new location for the teleporters? You want the good news or the bad news first? Good first. The good news is that we have the perfect location that both Scouts, Thespio, and Ellie can access. And the bad news? It's behind a laser grid that can cut you into ribbons the second you touch it. Lasers that are hot to the touch. Gotcha. Just make sure the telos are in two-way and you can actually get through the laser grid. Uh, wait, why didn't he just ask for two-way teleporters in the first place? Eh, comedic effect. Oh. D-Squad, status report. Highly impatient. Look, I'm sorry you're waiting, but you can't do anything until A-Squad gets anywhere near the intel. Entertain yourselves if you have to. <sighs> Leave, I'm taking orders from this guy. Firebrand? I'm bored! Blissy, we only have to wait a little while longer. The scouts, Ellie and Thespio, will get the briefcase, then we can go home. Um, can we get milkshakes? Only if you're good. Oh. Fox, you got a good view? Yeah, great view. <laughs> can you get a good look at Keyframe? She looks good all the time. I mean, do you have a visual on the group? Huh? 
Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, good visual. Come on, Silver, you gotta get through! I would like to not become Kentucky Fried Hippogriff, thank you very much. Hey, 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 if Finn and I can make it over here, so can you. Yeah, this mass is not getting through that intricate grid. Get in there or you'll never hear the end of me. Get access! This is a closed channel! Nothing is inaccessible to hear the pigeon cry out of pain. Ourselves, so that's what I'm doing. Oh, Celestia, give me strength. Hey, this is a piece of cake. Uh, Silver? Who'd have thunk I'd be this nimble? Silver. Dance Dance Revolution does work miracles. I should think does. Silver, Silver behind, behind you! you. Well, how to do? Get it off, get it off, get it off! Okay, he's out. Oh my god. Ow, ow. She's supposed to. Oh, that's toasty. It was a tingly. I can pull. Oh, what's this? I'm leaving. Oh, stop fighting me. I'm a couple of blocks. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, what I tell you? Oh, just. Piece of cake. A squad to C squad. We have visual on the intelligence. Oh, that's so great to hear. Where's it located? It's about 50 feet below us. It's a good thing Finn supplied us with a cable system for a situation just like this. Okay. So, who's going down to retrieve it? Ooh, ooh, ooh! Pick me, pick me! Uh. Yes, KP? Can I do it? Please? Fine, but just because Kim Possible is in your name doesn't mean... She already jumped. Whee! Off her! Stop her before she hurts herself! Yee-hee! <sighs> uh... Well, we got half of that order down at least. Call me, leave me if you wanna reach me. <laughs> What's going on? Nothing, everything's fine. How are you? It sounds like some pony tripped the alarm. What? No, you're hearing things. Alarm has been activated. All units to hallway with intricate laser grid. We set off the alarm. Ugh, just hunker down until A-Squad gets there. A-Squad, get the briefcase and get to the extraction point. Yeah, easier said than done. Let me guess, you're surrounded. No, KP's being a pain in the flank. Come here, you blue dude guy! Ugh, for the last time! I'm not Dr. Draken! Come take your medicine! <laughs> Ellie, a little help here! Why, Thespio? This is the funniest you've been all series. Do you at least have the briefcase? Yeah, about that. Now what? The intel is nothing more than the secret recipe for the perfect margarita. Oh, great. Not only is the intel useless, but we can't use it to make cocktails on the battlefield. D-Squad, you're up. Line up the sky. Well, it's about dang time. Charge! Do I smell soiled baby diaper? Run away! <laughs> okay, relax. Everything will be fine. Just as long as no one goes in guns blazing, we should make it out okay. Right, Fox? Fox? I'm coming, Snoopy Doo! Three, two, one. You know, he kind of does.
deserved it for calling me Schmoopy Doo. Blech. <laughs> So, how did the mission go? About as well as I thought it would. Unsuccessful, I take it? Pretty much everyone is in the infirmary suffering from injuries. Wait, even Golden Fox? <laughs> I was just trying to protect my babe! <laughs> Especially Golden Fox. Well, it appears more practice on the battlefield is required before we actually get to battle outside the town. Perhaps some Capture the Flag matches are in order. I guess. Unless... Unless what? Doc, where's my super suit? I'm sorry? Where is my super suit? Uh... The X-10 is still in the lab, but... Great! Uh, Mr. Voice, I don't understand! Oh, come on, Doc, you know the old saying. You want a job done right? You do it yourself. Okay, time to show up the team with what I can do. Want some of this? Idiot! Stand on the point! Hey, I'm flying! Bleep, bloop, barp, barp, barp! <laughs> Piece of cake. Just pull the lever, boys. Why would they even have that lever? Robot noises! Nice going, you clutches! You know, I haven't tested out the suit's capabilities yet. Let's see what we have in terms of incapacitation. Oh, this'll do nicely. Time to dream of electric sheep, boys. <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> Apparently me! Okay, let's try something that won't have me smell like Central Asian cuisine. Much better. Oh, you gotta be kidding! Yeah. Come on, there's gotta be a hint of where I can find those schematics. You to make sure those schematics are sealed tight. <laughs> My office in its usual spot. Don't screw this one up. I don't want any more mercenaries getting close. <laughs> Ask, and ye shall receive. Okay, only got a few minutes to find the plans. No. 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 No! Ah! Oh my. Come on, they have to be here. There's no way they made it here before me. Ah, oh, crap, they're here! What? Oh, come on! Does this thing run on AAA batteries? Huh, it does run on AAAs. Well, it was fun while it lasted. But I'm not going down without a fight. Ah! Ah! Sega? Boys? What, what are you doing, doing here? here? I'm in 
attorney for the director over the summer. Huh, that does explain the purple. Looks good on you, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. Back on point. Why are you dressed up like Deadpool's Italian knockoff? It's Deadshot, and he actually came first. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Anyway, why are you in here? <laughs> yeah, funny story. When come the kid did we cap later? Which now leads to me bumping into you. <laughs> okay. First off, I could lose my job if my boss knows you're here and if those schematics are gone. Secondly, you had to endure all of that just to get in here? I thought I just had to worry about getting a crazed gunman, but now I- Whoa, 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 honey. I'm not a crazy gunman, I'm an assassin. What's the difference? The difference being one is a job and the other is mental sickness. Also, if I don't get those plans, I'll look like an even bigger failure than I already am. Uh, honey... No, you don't understand what goes on in Coal Town. I get trampled by my teammates, get chased around by the Discord princess, and to this day, I have yet to beat a complete newbie because of sheer dumb luck. To top it off, I don't even get paid. Hell, I don't even know who I'm supposed to be on this team. This rate, I'm the serious guy, and that's my character. Just once, I want to show my teammates there's more to me, and this is the only way I can prove myself. Baby, you're scaring me. You're right. I I'm, I'm sorry for snapping. But what about you? Why are you working for, no better way to put this, the enemy? For one, it surprisingly pays well. For another, if I work for him, your safety is guaranteed. He can't touch you. Or at least he shouldn't. I'm doing this to keep you safe, to make sure he doesn't harm a single hair on your head. So, you're working against us to protect us? Well, mostly you. But the point is, Boise, you are my life. I couldn't live with myself if anything happened to you. Thank you. <laughs> now, uh, earlier, it, we just have our first... Uh... Our first fight, yeah. You know, we must be doing something wrong if it takes us more than two years for us to have a fight. <laughs> <sighs> you know I still need those schematics, right? Oh, yeah, um... Just don't tell anyone I gave them to you. Cross my heart, hope to fly, stick a cupcake in my eye. Good. Now, what's the protocol for a situation like this? I think I just have to defeat you for the plans. Okay, so... How do you go about defeating me? Like this. I've been defeated! Oh, mm. Mm. This way to the copy machine. And that's why he's Red Sniper. <laughs> Let's see, a 13 letter word for a popular gaming franchise, first letter being T and last letter being the number 2. Oddly specific. Um, is something the matter, every pony? No, we're just waiting for lunch to get here. Lunch? I thought Finn baked brownies for every- uh. <laughs> we may never know what became of those delicious brownies. <coughs> but Thespia ordered lunch for us. Yep, I know a guy. We really needed to know that. But since you're here, Doc, there's actually something I wanted to discuss with you. I've been thinking about this ever since our infiltration plan went horribly wrong. Except I made it back with the schematics. You're welcome. <laughs> It was a team effort, voice! Except the team of one actually prevailed. <clears throat> Anyways, we know how the robots work, but we still got our flanks roasted over an open fire. Coming from you, Brand? Oddly fitting. I always suspected that beneath that lack of medical skills laid a burning passion that could never be extinguished. Uh, to kill. 
Pretty much the same level it always is. Before Ellie and I choke a punk, I want to ask what our next move should be. Hmm. Well, since you brought it up, naturally the reason most of us... Sans voice... ...had a less than spectacular performance that day was due to a lack of experience. So, more training is still in order, and... I think it might be time to start opening up applications again. I don't know. You think it's wise to start looking for new recruits again? So far, our track records have been 80% psychos with itchy trigger hooves. I'm sorry, did you say something? I'll make it easier. For our new candidates, they must be some pony at least one or more members on each team know personally. Given the company we keep, that doesn't instill confidence. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> uh, Thesbio, what's with that creepy smile on your face? Why, whatever do you mean, KP? I'm just observing that Doc and Firebrand seem to have quite the pickle on their hooves. I mean, it's not like the answer to our problem is gonna just come through that door carrying lunch or something. Ahem. <laughs> <clears throat> I said, it's not like the answer to our problem is gonna just come through that door carrying lunch or something. Hint, hint. Dude, seriously? I practically gift wrapped this one for you, man! Sorry! We got lost. This place is hard to find in the Rift Cafe! Wherever that is! Seriously, you guys gotta start putting up signs or make a map or something. Jasper? Harmony? Uncle Jasper? Auntie Music Horse? Hide the peanut butter. It's about to get weird. Okay, I'll bite. Who are these two? Well, KP, I'm glad you asked. Meet our very good friends, currently panting on the floor, Jasper Pie and his mayor friend, Harmony Dancer. That <laughs> be I, Pizza Pony Pie. Oh, sweet Celestia. <laughs> Can I get a glass of water? <laughs> no water, but I have apple juice. <laughs> you complete me. <laughs> juice. <laughs> can, can I have juice too? Apple or grape? <laughs> ah, sweet relief. Uh huh. Well, nice to meet you two. I assume you've heard of me? Uh. Oh, yeah. Didn't you turn into a demigod and try to turn everyone into crispy bacon or something? Yep, that was me! Oh, don't remind me, I've still got the mental scars. Right next to the actual scars. Look, it's nice seeing you again, Spaghetti, and nice meeting you, Prancer, but this really isn't the place for civilians. So why don't you just drop the lunch from here and go back to living your lives away from us, please? Wait, you want us to go back out there? But, but, but out there is nothing but desert! We'll get lost and starve and perish and starve and die! And starve! <coughs> cough, sputter, cough, and disease. <laughs> or we could have just taken the shortcut I saw on the way over here. There's a shortcut! Whoa, 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 hold on a minute, you two. Say, Doc, I think I know the perfect individual to be our new blue soldier. Dropping the ball in three, two, one. Why not Jasper? <laughs> Jasper who? Jasper you, babe. Wait, seriously? Y'all want me to get in on your TF2 shenanigans? Well, yeah. <laughs> I think this opening is just right for you, buddy. We need someone who looks out for their teammates, likes blowing things up, and is kind of gullible and prone to getting trolled. 
<laughs> I'm all of those things! Especially that last one! Plus, it would be pretty awesome to have the dynamic duo together again on the same team. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Why me, though? Why not Harmony? I mean, she has more experience with this game than I do. Well, how much do you know about this game? Oh, I know plenty. It's, it's, uh, it's the one with the fortress, right? And the hats and the rockets and the milk and the bread monsters. Oh. I thought about it, babe. But I think with everything going on between you and your uncle back at the shop, not to mention all the prank calls, I'm looking at you too. This might be good for you. After all, nothing's more relaxing than making everything go boom boom! <laughs> that was beautiful, hon. But what about you? Will you be alright at the shop without me? Psh, I'll be fine! And if your uncle annoys me, I know where he sleeps. <laughs> so just give it a shot and break a leg, sweetie. Mwah. Also, my application is available if you ever need another member. Okay, thanks. Bye! Sigh. She completes me. Everyone's got a cameo of their personal life, don't they? Well, Doc, what do you think? Well, if Thespio and Eliora recommend him, then I see no harm in giving him a trial run at least. I am military putty in y'all's hooves! Er, and claws, and various other hand digits. Oh, he glued the fez on. He took the time to glue the fez on. Oh. <sighs> fine, fine, fine. This is fine. But you'll be under the supervision of a fellow soldier, which means... Okay, number one. I did not sign up for this! It's not in my job description to train newbies! Especially the crazy ones, alright? And number two, and I want to make sure every pony is paying attention when I say this, NOTHING in this world is gonna make me change my mind! Oh, come on, Maddie! I'll give you this comedically oversized jar of cookies! Good darn it, baby Sue! Why'd you tell him about my one weakness? Ah, uh, don't pretend you totally don't love me, Maddie. Yeah. <laughs> that voice brings back some unsightly memories. <sighs> Fine, you twisted my hoof. I'll train the little mule. But know this, Jasper, we play by my rules, or I'll be sending you back to your little girlfriend in a pizza <laughs> box. Understand, maggot? Have you ever thought of getting those floofs on your legs waxed? Just get out there and await instructions. Yeah! Instructions? Await them, shall I? <laughs> My body is sad. <sighs> and just so you know, these leg floofs are hereditary to Shetland's ponies, and I am now deeply offended, which is not gonna work in your favor. Uh, <laughs> see? He's already overqualified. <laughs> this is so cool! We get to fight with Uncle Jasper! Woo! Aren't you older than him? Hmm. Eager as I am to have another walking bullseye around here, I have my doubts. Do you really think that giving him a rocket launcher is the best idea? He probably doesn't even know how to aim. Oh, hey, Pot. Meet Kettle. <laughs> I'd almost made it through this conversation with my dignity intact, but you couldn't allow that, could you? You know me better than that. Hmm, yeah, that's fair. <laughs>